Welcome back to art class. To get started, we are going to write our name on the back of our paper and our class secret code. The materials we're going to use today is a white piece of paper, a messy mat, a light blue, dark blue, a white, a Q-tip, and a paintbrush. We are going to be blending in the background with our two different blues. So you do not have to rinse your big flat brush. You can go back and forth in between the two different blues and then blend them on your paper. However you want to blend them, that's totally up to you. If you want all of your paper to be the light blue, that's totally fine. If you want some areas to have the dark and the light, that's awesome too. Be sure that when you're painting that your white piece of paper is on your messy mat to make sure that it doesn't get on the table. And also try and cover up all those little white areas of your paper with some kind of blue all the way to the edges. Next, you're gonna find your Q-tip and start dipping the Q-tip into the white and adding dots. The Australian Aboriginal artist used many dots in their pieces they thought it was a therapeutic way of painting and a very spiritual way of creating artwork um, so with your q-tip we're going to try and replicate that same style that the aboriginal artist did so by dabbing your q-tip into the paint and then pressing it onto the paper we will start creating these uniform dots you can repeat the dots to show some rhythm in your artwork and movement i'm creating these little waves in my artwork so it looks like my background is moving by making these dots go in these rounded wave shapes so i'm using the white and then I'm also going back and repeating those dots using the different color blue. So I'm using the dark blue to show repetition in that color. And then I'm also using the light blue. You do not need a new Q-tip for this. You can use the same Q-tip, but make sure to start with the white. If you start with the white and then go to the different colors, it will be much better. Notice that each time I dip into the color, I'm only able to get about three or four dots before getting more color. <laughs> 